Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. Today, Monday, June 13th, 2022. Today starts jury selection, but not the actual op opening arguments and trial, retrial of Joshua Schulte. We covered the first case very closely, uh, including opposing in a public meeting the ceiling of the courtroom for, for CIA witnesses, including uh, interviewing the witness that was uh, bounced late in the case for reading the media. This time around, after eight, eight mistrial counts, mistrial, eight counts, no decision. It, it may be even more secretive. Uh, there was no public meeting about the ceiling of the courtroom. Uh, and there's developed a whole sort of series of the case in which you don't know what's going on. They meet in a separate courtroom. I know where it is, but I'm not reporting it at this point. Um, it's not clear what the decisions are, the, the, the Mike Pompeo subpoena, etc. Now, we're not going to really get that into the jury selection because recently in the Tim Shea We Build the Wall case, it was said in open court that, that juror four, Roberto, uh, you know, thought it was all a witch hunt. And then we were told that that was somehow sealed, even though it was said in court. Anyway, our focus is not on the jurors and who they are and where they live. The focus is on how the government will seek to prove a case in a public courtroom while sealing it. Let's see. And whether the jurors, and my interest in this is whether the jurors are told uh, about the secrecy and how, what impact that has. So there's that. Now, over the weekend, in fact, on Sunday, Michael Avenatti, who, as people will remember, was convicted in Nike, convicted in, in Stormy Daniels. In the California case, he has put in a, a, he's offered to plead guilty on an open basis, no plea agreement. Apparently, he thinks the sentence will be rolled up into his new sentence uh, from Judge Furman. We'll see what happens. We're, we're covering it closely. Also, uh, in D.C., there's this beginning of a trial of one of the, quote, insurrectionists, January 6th defendants, Seafried, maybe covering that as well. And as to the United Nations, also DDC, the UN Federal Credit Union is the subject of an anti-money laundering subpoena. We've reported on them before, helping an Iranian spy, help, helping various and sundry. Now that it was a subpoena, we're going to ask the UN about it, even as we remain banned by the UN. Inner City Press continues.